Hello and welcome, Hello and welcome to Pretty Denta. Today, I would like to show you a quick, uncomplicated and highly aesthetic way to create a perfectly finished crown. For this, of course, I will use our staining and structure paste concept, Pretty Perfect. In order to achieve a beautiful result quickly, we recommend the keep it simple approach. This one firing solution is particularly suitable for molars and premolars, for example in areas where an individualized effect is required with minimal effort. The surface of the crown should be grease and dust free. You can achieve this by carefully sandblasting the surface with 50 microns aluminium oxide or by cleaning in an ultrasonic bath. Before use, take a look inside the container. If the liquid has separated, mix the paste with a metal-free instrument. Before you begin, brush the surface of the crown with some liquid to reduce the surface tension Do and this prevent the glaze no more or the liquid from creating a pearl effect. First, apply an even layer of glaze. If you need to intensify or adjust the base shade, you can do this now. To give the edge a little more translucency, I use Transfer Pigeon. I also apply a little Transfer Blue to the outer ridges. Finally, I apply some Halo to the incisal edges and cusp tips. darker tooth shades, you can darken the halo paste a little with the appropriate shade. For an A4, you would use the shade A to adjust the intensity of the halo line. Of course, you can now add more details. For example, I can't resist adding a tiny grain of our fissure powder to the deepest point of the central fissure. Now the crown can be fired. As every ceramic furnace is a little different, you may need to perform some trial firings beforehand to achieve a shiny but not over-fired surface. I check our furnace regularly with a silver test. It's pretty accurate and easy to use. This was just a small insight into staining and glazing with Pretty Perfect. 